Oh, hi. I'm early. I'm glad. Oh? I want to show you something, and Lizzie's still upstairs, and we have a little time, so... It's a school paper. <laughs> oh. Look behind the scenes at Romeo and Juliet. That's a great picture of Lizzie. She looks happy, doesn't she? She does. Thank you. Thank you for helping her put her life back together. And don't tell me that you were just doing your job. I was just doing my job, but you're welcome. It's just wonderful. <laughs> Your, her grades have improved. She loves the play. She's making an effort with Olivia. She's made great strides. I'll agree with you. Yes, she has. Hi. Hey, hey, where's Lizzie, honey? She's uh, upstairs in her bedroom. Well, no, I just was in her room, and then I went, looked around in the kitchen places. I didn't see her anywhere. Well, you're right. She's not in the house. She's nowhere to be found. Well, let's give her a few more minutes. She isn't late yet. I just assumed that she was upstairs because she should have been home half an hour ago. Well, you know teenage girls. I know Lizzie. Um, maybe she stayed for play practice? Why don't you call her and then we'll know. You're right. Where's that crazy bitch daughter of yours, Olivia? Where is she? What do you want to know? Where is Lizzie? Well, I don't know. I was God, just trying to Does anybody to call know where she is? Calm down. Just okay. tell me where she is. We don't know. Olivia, why don't you tell us why you're so upset? I'm upset because your daughter is dangerous. My daughter is doing much better. If you want to oh, talk God, to me calmly, I never should have brought Emma back here. I never should have brought her back Emma, here. Emma, what, what are I you talking her. about? Emma's my daughter. Olivia. <laughs> <laughs> Just say you want to help me go find that nut job you call your patient. Olivia, calm down. My baby is alive. She's alive. Olivia's telling the truth. And Lizzie found out about her and she took her. And God only knows what she's going to do to her. I don't believe any of this. Beth, uh... I could just think what Lizzie felt when she stumbled on this lie. I mean, she was doing so much better. Can you imagine how shocked she was when she found out Olivia's baby was alive? I can only imagine, because I know how I feel. But you know, Mom, Lizzie knew. She knew that Olivia was keeping something from us from the time she first came back to town. And then Philip told us the other day about the baby when we were at Ravenwood. I thought he was confused, but he was trying to tell us the truth. I... Olivia, why would you tell Philip about this? I told him because I had to. And he slipped up the other day in front of Lizzie. He must have said more about the baby. But it just seems so unfair to tell him when the state he's in is so bad. I can't believe this. You people are unbelievable. You know what? I'm the one who's crazy. I'm crazy for ever bringing my daughter back here. Lizzie hasn't shown up at Ravenwood. God, you're busy kidnapping my daughter. Olivia, do you have any proof? What? Well, I'm sorry, but you're very emotional right now. And for all we know, Lizzie could walk through that door any minute and somebody else could have your baby. God, what are you going to get a clue? We're wasting our time here, Sam. We need to find her. You don't know that Lizzie had anything to do with this. Beth, she hates me. She hates me. Am I the only person who sees that there might be another possibility oh. here? <laughs> Olivia, it's possible that she wouldn't hate your baby. Do you believe that? Really? I mean, do you honestly believe that Lizzie wouldn't take out how she feels about me on my baby? Yes, I do. Oh! Do you? Can you guarantee me that Lizzie won't hurt Emma? No, I can't. <laughs> Tell me something. Olivia, I am trying to figure out where Lizzie might have gone and what she might have been thinking. Any brilliant ideas? Liv, don't. What? I'm sorry, I thought that actually coming to her mother might help, but I forgot she's as crazy as her kid. Olivia, I know you are upset. Upset? You think so? Yes, I do, but there's no need. You're not going to accomplish anything by getting mad at Beth. You know what? You're right. This is a complete waste of time. You know, I've been encouraging Lizzie to keep a journal of her feelings. Maybe she wrote something down that could be helpful. I'm going to go to her room and check. I'll follow you. Beth, when was the last time you saw Lizzie? I saw her at breakfast, and, and she was fine. She hasn't been fine in a long time. The, the longer we stand, you're just twiddling our thumbs, the more danger my daughter is in. We're going to find her, Liv. Olivia, if Lizzie did take your baby, she wouldn't hurt her. I know that. She's Emma's sister. That doesn't matter. She tried it once before, Beth. What's so different now? Let me tell you something. She has my daughter, and if she does anything in any way to hurt her, I swear to you I will make Olivia, her pay. need to calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. Not when that psycho you call your daughter has my baby. What's going on here? 
Your granddaughter took my baby. Your baby? Olivia just told us that her baby and Phillips is alive. Olivia, you lied about losing Phillips' child? You understand this? She has my baby, and she's sick, and she's dangerous, and all of you have to make her that way. Now, this is on you, Alan. You find my baby, and you bring her to me. Do you understand me? I don't care what you have to do. You find her! Try to lay this on us, Olivia. If we had known Philip's child was She's alive. She's my child, too. Alan. Listen to me. If we had known, we could have been watching Olivia. No, you wouldn't have been watching Can her. Can you imagine how she felt when she found out her only sister was. It was because alive. of Lizzie that I didn't tell you. She tried to kill my baby before she was even born. I didn't know what she was oh, doing. Stop that Olivia. it. She stop stop apologizing for her. I don't feel sorry for Lizzie. Have you contacted the police? I called the police. They called the FBI. They're so collaborating right now. All right, all right. I'm going to call Gus. Gus? Yes. Oh, why not bring another Spalding into the mix? I'm sure while he's he's keeping hush-hush for your benefit, my, Lizzie's skipping the country with my kid. Olivia, he will do everything he can to find Elizabeth and... What's my new grandchild's name? Emma. Emma. I will use all of my resources to find her, I promise. I'm sure you'll use all of your resources to protect you and Lizzie and the rest of your clan, but the only thing I care about right now is my daughter. Come on, Gus. Pick up, pick up. Wait. What? Gus, um, I have a problem. What kind of problem? A big one. And I need your help. Alan, do we really have to wait for Gus? Beth, he will come. <coughs> oh, thank hey, God. Well, what took you so long? Look, I'm sure he got here as soon as he could. Well, sure, as soon as you tell me what's going on. Look, uh, this is a little awkward of me, but I, I need to ask a favor of no you. favors, no favors. This is family. First of all, does Philip even know that his kid's alive? Yes, he's the one who told Lizzie. Okay, okay and how long has she been gone? Not long. Olivia came over here right away after she found out. Uh, where's, Oli where's Olivia? Well, she's out looking for Elizabeth now. Gus, you know Lizzie's history. She doesn't get along with Olivia, and she is very protective of her father. So what are you saying? She swiped the baby to punish Olivia? I, I honestly don't know, but I do know that we can't stand around talking anymore. We have to go look for her because Lizzie doesn't know how to take care of a baby. She's absolutely right. Yeah, well, we're going we're gonna to get on that. First, I just want everybody to realize what we're dealing with here. Okay, we have a young girl who's got a history of mental instability. No offense to you, you know, and now she swipes the baby. I, I just want everybody to realize what we're getting into, okay? But just tell me, what, what places could she be? What, what, what places does she have access to where the family owns? Wait, wait, I don't know why I didn't think of this. Phillips loft. Absolutely. Yeah, it, it's... I'd be a perfect hiding place. She'd be connected to her father there. It's vacant. Okay. It's safe. Fine, we're, we're gonna go there. Will you guys just stay in case somebody calls and the phone, just okay. man the phone. All right. All right. Go okay. find your granddaughters. Hurry.